What's up, Brand Builder? I'm Mash Bonigala, and welcome to another episode of the Brand Builder Show. In this episode, how to convert blog readers into customers. Now, you know that blogging is a great way to reach new people in your target market. It allows you to share knowledge and become a thought leader in your industry while simultaneously generating new leads and sales. While you may get a few inquiries about your product or service through a, 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 an ordinary blog, it takes a strong strategy to consistently convert your readers into customers. Now, if you follow these six tips uh, to start generating more sales from your blog, you'll probably thank me for it. Number one, write about topics your customers are interested in. In order to generate new leads and customers from your blog, you must write content that attracts the right kind of reader. To do this, write posts that your um, customers would be interested in that uh, also relate to your industry. For example, Moz is a company that sells SEO software. Their extremely popular blog includes posts that help search engine marketers learn more about improving their SEO. Another example is the one I wrote about how your brand is more than just a logo. There are lots and lots of examples online. Now, on the Moz blog, you'll find articles like uh, 10 dead simple tips to take advantage of Google Plus for SEO, five link building tactics to improve your local ranking, or what kind of content gets links and so on and so forth. So ask yourself what questions your customers and leads may have, and then write articles and posts to answer those questions. Number two, cite your sources and use examples to build up credibility. When putting together your blog post, it's perfectly okay to state an opinion or write from experience. But when you state facts, especially stats, you should cite your sources. This helps you build up credibility with your readers. When you build up credibility, you establish trust and authority. These are two key components that will help you turn your readers into customers. Number three only link to your product or service when appropriate. It's a good idea to write a blog post about your own product or service when you have a, a major announcement, such as a, a new future release or, or something like that. It's not cool to write self-serving uh, posts all the time. You know, doing so will bore your readers and, and push them away. A good strategy for keeping your product or service top of mind while not writing self-serving posts would be to link to your, po uh, your, your features or products when relevant. For example, when we write about logo design or branding, we do link back to you know, certain of our services, but only if this allows information about our services in a post that makes sense. Of course, internal linking will help your search engine rankings. Number four, include a call to action box at the bottom of each post. Getting the right kind of readers to your blog and, and wowing them with high quality content is only half the battle. Once readers finish a post, you need them to convert into a lead or, or even into a customer. One of the best ways to sort of accomplish this is by including a very strong call to action at the end of the article. Now, naturally, you don't want to ruin an otherwise great post with glaring kind of self-promotion. So you might consider using a call to action box. Make the box part of your blog theme, like Unbounds or, or Kissmetrics, do, they do the great job. Uh, and it automatically shows up after each post. Number five, link your call to action box to a landing page. It's not enough to just have a, a call to action box. You must link your call to action to a, a compelling landing page. This could be your product or service page, or it could be a page you created specifically to provide maybe a special offer for your readers and only for your readers. Depending on how your product or service is priced, you may ask readers to sort of fill out a lead gen form for more information, or you may ask them to make a, a purchase right at the, on the landing page. It's up to you. Low priced impulse buys should include a call to action to buy right away. Larger and more uh, complex purchases 
should lead a lead gen form, should have a lead gen form so that the viewer can request more information while you capture their contact information. Number six, provide a special offer to your blog leads. If you capture contact information on your landing page through a form, you'll want to automatically send out an email to these leads. Included in the email should be more information about your product or service with an additional call to action. The call to action in your email could be to download a white paper or some other soft conversion. Or you could go for the big sales ask right away, but include a limited time discount or special offer to sweeten the deal. Your blog readers will love that you are rewarding them for engaging with your content and by making the offer uh, limited time only, you create a sense of urgency that encourages them to act right away. I hope you found this episode useful. If you have any questions about this topic, please hit me up on Twitter. My handle is at Bonigala. Or you can leave comments below this video and I will surely respond. And if you haven't already done so, please subscribe to this channel. Till my next video, take care.